Hey guys, Jim Rose from RPM Dynamics here. In this video, we're going to go over the effects rack in the Midas HD96. Keep in mind, this console is a pre-release console. The console is not shipping yet. This is one of a few consoles Midas has built that they're using to uh, demo the console at trade shows and different places so that they can get the, the, the console seen by the world and at least get it out so people can see what's going on with it. It's still in a pre-release state. So what you see going on here doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be exactly that when the console comes out. And I feel like the effects rack is gonna be definitely one of those pieces that's gonna see additions or changes to. So this is what we've got so far in September of 2019. If you wanna to get to the effects rack on this console, the effects rack is located in the sidebar. Before I go into the effects rack, I'll show you there's an option for the, for the customized toolbar here. And that allows you to add or take away from this top toolbar. So if there's something like this front of house uh, layout that you don't need, you can move this down and I can go in here and I can grab the effects rack. Here, grab it, I should say. And I can drag it up top, put it in the top of the screen. Now, instead of having to go dig through here to get to my effects rack, if I'm in a different view, I can actually just pick it up off the top of the screen. So that makes it easier to get at this effects rack. The effects rack has 24 slots. All of the effects and the graphics on this console are loaded into this rack. Each effect occupies anything from a quarter slot, which those items have four effects in one position, up to a unit that occupies three slots for a single device. That would be the VSS4 Reverb. It's extremely resource intensive. It's a, a direct model off of the M6000 TC. So that's why it's eating up so much. It's a $5,000 reverb that you're getting included in the console. So I guess if you're buying the console and you filled the rack with uh, VSS4s and you're using a studio, you're getting the console for free because you've got the reverb instances you can use on other things. So that's, a, I guess, one way to look at it. Uh, we're gonna go to the effect rack here. And Midas has added a bunch of new effects into this console along with some of the existing stuff that you already knew they had from Pro Series. Finding an effect is easy. You just scroll through the tabs of either reverb, delay, dynamics, equalizer, modulation, or distortion, etc. Reverbs, they've added TC VSS4, so I'm not going to assign it yet. So now we have a VSS4 reverb that's uh, directly out of the M6000 processor. Pretty awesome sounding reverb. We have VSS4s in there. We have other reverbs that are in there. There's more to come, but this is what's so far into this pre-release console. If we go into another rack here, we can go into, say, Dynamics. One of the other things that they've added into this console is kind of cool are some cool uh, compressors. If we go to the leveling amplifier and we add this effect, right, we'll get out of here. You'll notice there's four instances. So this one here allows you to put four in one slot. You'll notice that this is a model of an LA-2A and, it, and they did the modeling that's done on these is pretty accurate. So you've got a real version of an LA-2A in this console. We can go into another rack here and we can say we're going to go to Dynamics and we're going to grab this one here that says 1176 KT. So I'm pretty sure if I say that, you got a pretty good idea what this one is. So we've got 1176 in here too. So they've added 1176s in this thing. Uh, say we want to go into uh, here this program equalizer. We can have pull text. There's all kinds of cool effects, and there's many, many more on the horizon that are come that are, that are going to come. Another cool thing that's in here is if we scroll through our pages here, or we'll go to our dynamics page here. If we go to M6, this is something that people in Midas have been asking for for a long time. And pretty much anyone that's inserting waves into one of these console, this is probably one of the primary pieces that they're looking for. And this is now Midas has basically a C6 built in on this console. So you can add instances of C6s onto your money channel. The rack is, is the, the new additions are pretty cool. You have 24 slots that you can pick and choose from. This video is just about showing you the rack, not the specific 
uh, instances of the of the effects. The same thing is when you get into graphics, we can go into here and we can go into uh, equalizers and we'll go into graphic. And if you add this one in there, we're gonna put the, the graphic in here. This gives us two stereo or linked left or right graphics. Blows up the top half here for the, uh, the overview. If we drop it down into show faders, it gives us a full on large size Looks like a, basically a DN360. You hide the overview, you still got half your screen in here, but now you have full on, easy to grab, large scale faders with big throw, no finger issues, not like an iPad where you're gonna scroll over and have an issue. So now you've got graphics that cover the whole 21 inch screen. And I wanna say that almost looks like it's bigger than on an actual DN360. I think they're giving you quite a bit on this. So this is a, another pretty cool thing when it comes into the graphics. So that's another item that we have inside of the effects rack. Again, this is just the start of the effects rack. There's many more to come. The console is going to have an additional pool of 96 dynamic EQs and 32 dynamic compressors that don't eat up space in this effects rack that are going to be insertable too. That's another thing I want to mention about the effects. The effects on this console can either be a send and return or they can be an insert onto a channel. Anything effect-wise that you insert into a channel, you can layer those three deep in the channel inside and you can still lock into latency compensation that everything will be in time on this console if you do that. So this is the effects rack and I'm sure there's much, much more to come. Hopefully a bunch of cool things they've been talking about will be out by the time the console is released, I'd assume early next year. So again, this is September 2019. This is what we've got so far. Thanks.